This is going to be the platform paradise. Okay, platformer. Platformer paradise. This is the platformer paradise engine. This is going to be the industry standard for anybody making a platformer game. Following the massive success of the Nintendo, there are rumors circulating that another Japanese company is going to release a gaming console of their own. Oh no, Sega are coming into it. So I'm now creating my own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. Oh, cool. And there we go. Oh, oh it's taking a while though. Come on, come on, Basement Bob, get back to work. It's not, it's not too hard to do. Just make a custom game engine, jeez. We're hemorrhaging cash right here. Oh, man. Oh, no, this means we can't actually afford to make a Nintendo game anymore. The engine has cost too much. Oh, no. Well, it's okay. We're such a we're such a, a, an, an adventure giant. We can go back to PC and maybe make like a, a prison simulation game. Okay, Platform of Paradise is now complete. First custom game engine. You should try using it in your next game. Oh, the Vena is... I guess it's like the Sega. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's definitely like a Master System pad. The, now, they claim that the, te the Master V is technically superior to the Nintendo and plans to release it in the upcoming months. Okay. Right, so new game. Let's get to it. Develop new game. Pick the game engine. We're going to use Platform Paradise, of course. Now, we're going to play... Ooh. Now, for a platformer game, let's, let's go back and pick the genre first. Now, where's platformer? I guess platformer comes under action. So action, action, and uh, it's going to be on. Yeah, I can't afford to put it on the on the on the uh, on the Nintendo. But what I can do is put it on the PC. So this is going to be an action game, and actually no, on the PC I think this should be another. Let's see, adventure does better than RPGs and simulations here. But we haven't tried action, so this will maybe get us a bit of insight, and we can do a bit of a game report on this game to see how action does on PCs. So it's action. Oh, what kind of topic are we going to choose, guys? I don't know. Um, maybe school. Why not? School action game. On the PC. Whoops. With the Platform Paradise engine. And we're going to call it... What we are going to call this? We're going to call this game Bully Basher. That's right, yeah. The key of this game is you're a new student at school and you're being bullied. So what you do is you tool up, you, you get your platform boots on, and you go bashing bullies. Okay, right. So, Bully Basher, let's go. Now, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use enhanced 2D graphics here. We're gonna spend a lot of money on this, but it's gonna be way worth it. Now, oh, I hope we can afford some good. All uh, oh, right, here we go. Now, I think gameplay and engine should be key for this. Story and quest takes a back seat for an action game, so engine and gameplay should be right up there. Gameplay being the highest, I think. Bully Basher, oh yeah. You ain't taking my lunch money, scumbags. Okay. Now, there's lots of bugs. I guess that's because it's a new engine and because we're inexperienced with action games. Now, here we go. Development stage two. Level design, artificial intelligence, dialogues. Level design is probably the most important thing here. Uh, dialogue and artificial intelligence, not so much. So I'll just ramp those down a bit. There we go. Okay, stage three. Now, world design, graphic, and sound. Well, sound's important for an action game, I think. And so is graphic. World design, not so much. So I'm just going to leave that about like that. It's, it's kind of even, but with graphics taking up most of the uh, most of the swing. Okay, and it's almost done. I'm just going to wait. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on really low cash, actually, here. I need to release this game quite quick. Okay, the bug's being ironed out. Come on. And I'm going to wait for a more, one more design point or technology points. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, there's another bug. Oh, crap. I released it with a bug. Oh, no, this could be bad. This could be bad. But we have got a new record. More tech than ever. Now, this is a custom game engine with super enhanced graphics. So this is like the COD of the PC dawning age. This is the COD of the Nintendo days. So let's release this bad boy and hope that the bug wasn't game breaking. Okay, how are the reviews? Bully Basher. Come on. Good review. Good review. Come on. Ah, five. Oh, man. I hope this doesn't suck. Five. Have seen better. Come on. Gotta be a six. Please be a six. Yeah, six. Oh, okay. We're back in it. We're back in it. 
quirky but good. Okay, now that's that's not an abysmal score. So we hopefully we get better. Now, uh, let's see. Today, the new game platform, Sega, has been released. All right, sweet. Okay, so let's generate a game report and see, uh, see how this game is done. Now, I'm losing cash, so let's hope I make a lot of money from selling Bully Basher. Oh, yeah, making lots of money so far. And gaining fans. It looks like they're, they're a big fan of the Bully Bashing genre. Okay, school and action is okay. World design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre is good. Not excellent, but good. Well, okay, I've learned a few things. Now, what now? I've got research points. I might as well spend them. I haven't really got the cash to invest in a Nintendo game yet, though. And I really want, I really want to do that. Okay, so the Master System hasn't been marketed well in, 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 in America. But it will flourish in other parts of the world. Okay, well, I remember in England, Sega was pretty big. So, okay. We're still selling units of Bully Basher. But uh, I think let's find some contract work to pay for our next game. Now, let's see. Set up computers. Oh, that's that's miserable pay. Character design. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's accept the character design contract. Come on, Basement Bob. Get it together. Yeah, oh, do you think we'll do this? I think we'll do this. Oh, we better do it. No! No, he's scratching his head! Oh, no! Gonna get a penalty! Oh, you suck! Penalty of 4k will be applied to my account. Oh, no, I don't make any money at all from that. Oh, that sucks! Well, let's get another contract in. Let's make it an easy one this time. And what are the penalties here? Here we go, playtest! Anybody can playtest the game. Let's do it, Basement Bob. Let's do it! And hopefully he doesn't get writer's block again, because, man, that, that sucked. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We're going to do this easy. Bully Basher is off the market, and I generated $130,000. Well, that's good enough, I guess. But I did make a loss on that. It's a bit of a shame. Okay, and I got, I got some money from the contract, too. I've got some research points, but I might accept another contract. Let's see what else is on here. Contract work. That's it. Set up computers. This is the only one to do. Well, I'm not going to accept this, because I might fail it. There's a lot of technology points required there. I'm not sure at the level yet to do that well. Okay, so develop a new game. I've got a custom game engine already. I can use that engine again. So let's just use it now. Platform of Paradise, why not? Now the topic will be... Now I've been I've been really good at, at doing RPG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another RPG. Or rather, I'm, another adventure game, I reckon. But this time we're not using... We're not going to do pirates. We're going to do... I think... Hmm... An adventure comedy game, why not? And what platform should it be on? Oh, I can I can afford to make a Nintendo game now, actually. That's what I'll do. I'll go to comedy, I'll select... Ooh. Wild West this time. We'll make a, a Wild West game. But this is going to be an action game, and we're going to make it on the NES. Okay, let's do it. Now, what's the cost here? Dev cost 30k. License cost 30k. And it's the same price as the... Oh, no, hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, right, market share is being diluted as more systems are being brought out. Okay, we'll make it on the Nintendo then. Okay, let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Nintendo game. Now, I need a developer license. Now, if I get a developer license, does that mean I keep it? Let's try it. Okay, so I've got $27,000 left to spend on this game. So it's an action game on the Nintendo about Wild West. And we're not going to be called Saloon Tycoon because that was a simulation game. But this time we're going to be called... Ooh, well, I guess it's going to be kind of similar to Red Dead Redemption, so what I can call it is... Oh, writer's block. Naming games is sometimes difficult. Oh, I've got an achievement! Oh, nice! Well, that's how long I've spent thinking about this name. Wow. So I'm going to call it something like Red Dead Redemption, but... Um, hmm. How about Blue... Blue... Blue Dead... Reinvention? Yeah, why not? Doesn't have to make any sense, so Blue Dead Reinvention. Now, oh, I can't afford to make it 2D Graphics version 2. So it's got to be 2D Graphics version 1. Oh, no, I'm already in the minus. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k. But be careful, if your account balance is below 50k, you'll go bankrupt. Oh, no, this could be bad, guys. New research available, though. Casual games. Oh, we could go into the mobile market. Okay, let's do it. Wild West Action, Blue Dead Reinvention. So what do we know about 
action games. Well, gameplay is important. Yeah, this looks like a good mix. The Govador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Ah, oh, sweet. So this pretty much matches the uh, the rise and fall of the real life consoles in the real world. That's pretty cool. So we can somehow kind of predict what's going to happen with the consoles. That's pretty cool. Okay, getting points here. Lots of wicked sick tech, lots of design, lots of technology. Oh, loving it. It's DT up in this mother trucker. Now, development stage two. Now, level design was very important for this type of game. I think it was it was saying artificial intelligence, not so much. And dialogue, uh, not so much either. Or was it, actually? This is an action game. Yeah, yeah, level design was very important for this. So I'm going to make sure level design is right up there. Okay, don't scratch your head, Basement Bob. Come on, you're losing money right here. Time is money. 8k again. Oh, man. What I'm going to do is I'm going to research this game. I'm going to work on this game right up to the wire until I have to sell it because I'll go bankrupt if I don't. Okay, so let's see. World design is a bad call for this type of game, so let's just stick with graphics and sound. Oh man, I'm getting closer and closer to that 50k mark. Oh, this could be bad, but look at the design and tech. This is huge. Oh, the Game Boy has been released. Oh, nice. Awesome. The Game Boy is underpowered, but given the low cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. Oh, right, so this is probably more for casual games as well. Well, okay, I've only got enough money to, to afford one more monthly cost. So what I'll do is I'll just research this game, get the bugs out, get some more design and technology up, until I get one more monthly cost, and then I'll release the game. Lots of tech. Come on. Oh, even more tech. Oh, this is a super high-tech game. Monthly costs, okay, release. Sweet, now here we go. Now a new record for tech. Getting some levels in these in these important fields. Now I wonder if we can hire hire extra employees, because at the moment we're stuck in a basement. But can we upgrade our surroundings? Can we actually like kind of move to like an office or something? That'd be cool. Okay, let's release the game. Let's do it. The first reviews are in. Blue Dead Reinvention came in. Come on, this is a reinvention of the genre. Come on, swing high. Beautiful, oh nice. Come on, let's see an eight. I want an eight, I want an eight. Eight, played it for days, oh nice. And again, come on, come on high, high. Seven, nice experience, these are great reviews. Great reviews, come on high again, seven, eight, six. Eh. It's good, but we got an eight, a solid, a solid eight. So let's do it. Oh yeah, now how much is it gonna sell? Ooh, come on. Okay, sweet. Now we made 60k on the first week. Oh, that's huge. So we're 10k in the green. Come on, let's keep keep on selling like hotcakes. Oh man, it looks like word of mouth is spreading and everyone wants this game. Oh, they want a piece of Blue Dead reinvention. Nice. Right, so while that's going on, I'm going to generate a game report. See what we learned about this console game. Oh, we're gaining fans as well, and making wicked sick bank. Okay, post-release analysis. Wild West and action is a good combination, and level design is quite important, but we already knew that. Right, and that's it. Okay, what are we going to research now? Let's take a look at research and see what we can dig into. Now, I've got money to burn, cash to splash. Now, game design, target audience. Yeah, we should look into target audience, I think. Now, we could make a... Oh, we can't make a new engine yet. So, let's look at target audience. Nice. Making wicked sick sales. Okay, I've researched target audience. What does this mean? The growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Right? New ah, new research available marketing. Okay. So what do I get from researching target audience? I guess I just target my audience better, I guess? Maybe. Nice. Holy crap! I made 240k! That's crazy! That's amazing! That's fantastic! Right, well I'm going to call it there, guys, for Game Dev Tycoon, for this, this episode, and the previous episode. It's been a two-episode session. So next time we're going to jump back into Game Dev Tycoon, as long as you guys still want to see it. We'll get some... Oh, oh I'll... I'll just pause the game quickly. 
We'll get some we'll get some more games done. We'll, and if you guys are still enjoying it, we'll see how far we can take Shindy Games. Because I'm really hoping we can get to like the later stages of, of, the, of the game dev tycoon. See if we can see if we can get to like COD stage, make some maybe red alert or something. I don't know, that'd be super cool. So hit like and favorite if you want to see more, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Dev Tycoon. Take care, 